Samuel, thanks again for joining me. You've given so much insight here. I, I could do three shows on this topic. Um, you may know that I, you know, was very critical of Ontario's radical education, a sexual education, uh, sex ed, with the gender identity theory and so on, being pushed on children. Now we're hearing that the Ontario Conservative Ford government is now basically pushing critical race theory on, on kids, or it's being taught to kids in, in Canada and in Ontario. Um, can you give us some concrete examples? I mean, you named one in Alberta through your personal experience. Tell us about how it is actually being taught to kids in Canada. Yeah, uh, I mentioned uh, the author, uh, Ibram Kendi, uh, who wrote the book, How to Be an Anti-Racist. And he has a children's uh, a version of the book um, called um, The Anti-Racist Baby. And I've read, I have the book, I've read the book. In the book, it's basically teaching kids to repeat to themselves that they are either racist or anti-racist. Really? Right? That's what they're saying. Now, I mentioned that book because in many Ontario schools, I've received documents, internal documents from teachers, um, and um, not to promote my blog, but I've mentioned it on my blog. And so people can people can look for it. It's at slowtowrite.com. They can go look Slow at it. Slowtowrite.com. Uh, yeah. Okay. And these internal documents, the, the faculty are, are being pressured to, to teach or to repeat, uh, to read this book uh, to kids so they can repeat it. That they, they, I think something like the anti-racist baby, so the anti-racist baby hates racism and uh, you know loves justice, th things like that. They're using a lot of words, but then within them, they're also teaching exactly what, what very much what you said as well too. They're teaching L LGBTQ ideas as well too, to kids as early as kindergarten, kindergarten oh, students. There's a four-year-old, right? so that's four-year-old. Yes, this is this is in in Ontario. So this is very much happening um, across all of Ontario, really across Canada. But I can speak of. I mean, this is happening in Peel. It's happening at TDSB. It's happening in so many other schools or or, or school boards across our, our province. And I've had many parents reaching out to me and um, asking um, their their schools if they're teaching critical race theory. And, and they will oftentimes say, "No, we are not. We are simply teaching anti-racism and equity." But of course, that's another word for critical race theory. Okay, and now we have in Ontario Bill 67 that just passed second reading, only one MPP, Belinda Carahelli, was voted against it. Um, Rick Nichols uh, claimed he wasn't understanding it, and he said he will vote against it for third reading. Okay, so maybe there will be two. But all the Conservatives voted for this, and it was an NDP-sponsored bill called Racial Equity in the Education System Act. What are the concerns you have? We only have a couple minutes, so what are the concerns you have with this bill? The, well, the bill is that it would make critical race theory even more prominent and more entrenched in our systems. Right now, it's being taught uh, voluntarily by the school boards. But when this, if this passes, it will be more entrenched and that it will be extremely difficult for us to fight back against it, which is why I think they're doing this. Uh, but one more thing that people for, are forgetting too, in the Ontario government, on their website, they actually have a glossary of terms on dealing with things like critical race theory. Okay. It's all there. They're teaching. So before I knew this was coming a long time ago, because for years it's been on the school boards. Yes. Say, sorry, sorry, it's been on the school boards and even on the Ontario government website where they're teaching critical race theory as we speak today. Wow. And so this has been going on for years, not just with the start of the Ford government. Uh, no. Yeah. It's, it's been going there for years before the Ford government. But now yes. things are just taken right off. Exactly. exactly. Uh, Jordan Peterson also put out a very good video criticizing this bill uh, and said it must be stopped. Uh, Again, only one MPP voted against it. Second reading, do you have any anticipation how the final vote will go? Um, I think they'll probably pass it because of the wording, is that I think they're gonna be afraid that if they don't uh, pass <clears throat> it, seen as being racist if they're not opposing, if they're, if they're not opposing the so-called anti-racist uh, bill. Okay, we only have 45 seconds left. I'm gonna end on a very big question. Is Canada a racist country? Absolutely not. Now, I will say this. Of course, there are racists in Canada. Of course, there are. That's because there are racists where I'm from, too. Ghana, right? Ghana, I'm, I'm an Af it's, an African, it's an African country, but yet you have racists there. But is the, is the nation itself racist? Absolutely not. If that was the case, my mom would have left everything behind to bring her and I into a much better country. Okay. And uh, again, if people want to reach out to you and, and look up some of your work, where can they go? They can find me at slowtowrite.com or they can find me across social media at slowtowrite.com.